Ah, <laughs> the hubris of the victim. They can't get me. I'm too smart for them. It's kind of like watching a 60s horror film where 70s are actually, they're all the same even to this day. You're sitting there thinking, don't go in the woods, don't go in the woods, don't go in the woods. And what do they do? They go into the woods. And you hear the chainsaw start. They always go into the woods. So do you. These are shark-infested waters. You're going to need a good, strong boat. These sharks are ancient, well-developed predators with highly defined skills and a voracious appetite. They prey on greed, desperation, and psychology. They spend more time on your psychology than you do. They are psychological experts. They are not trading experts. There is only one defense, only one weapon, only one tool that will save you. It's not a secret, a medallion, or a spell. It's perspective. Perspective is mandatory for success. Beware the sharks. Identify the sharks. How does this market expert make you feel? What weakness is being exploited? What psychology is being used? And at what point do they ask for your wallet? After listening to this expert, do you feel the need for a shower? Want to buy a used car? Feel ashamed of yourself? Feel you can buy happiness? Do you need to check your heart rate? I need to wash my hands after typing this stuff. A shark is always needing to be moving to force water over its gills and extract the precious oxygen. Can you see the analogy coming out here? An investment shark must always troll the waters to find more prey, because when they eat one, it's gone. It's not sustainable. They always need more. When you add the magic 90 formula, it becomes clear. 90% of market investors lose 90% of their account in 90 days. That shark has exactly 90 days to find you and eat you. Where do they come from? Well, there used to be a term, pitchmen, which I can only assume is not politically correct anymore, so they're pitch people. In your mind's eye, you can picture the snake oil being peddled off the back of a wagon at a carnival, the vacuum dealer at the door, and the wig-wearing salesperson at the car lot. These people are excellent at their job, selling to people's weaknesses. Most of the tried-and-true products are gone, replaced by Amazon, which, by the way, is exceptionally adept at the art of the sale. The new perfect product is... You guessed it. Wait, there's more. Get rich quick. Here's the thing. I've been there. I was the high-pressure closer. I know how they do it. I know the buttons to push. I know the ultimate result. You get screwed. So, how do you protect yourself? Well, it's easy. Don't go in the water. But that's where the money is. So stay out of the deep water. That's where the sharks are. Wait around in the shallows. Pick up the loose change. This is the only secret you need to take from this lesson. Pick up the loose change. Have you ever noticed the people wandering the beaches early in the morning carrying metal detectors? Have you ever wondered what they find? Loose change. People drop loose change all of the time. It's so small they don't even notice, or if they do notice, it's so small they don't bother looking for it. Is it worth picking up? Well, how many times would you kneel to pick up a nickel? A dime, a quarter, a dollar, a hundred dollars? If all you had to do was kneel, would you do it for a thousand dollars? Consider this. Coins dropped in the sand are easy to find. Coins dropped in the shallows are harder to find. Coins dropped in the depths are called treasures and are the hardest to find. Sand coins are pennies. The quarter shine in the sun and are quickly, easily found. Surf coins are nickels. They shine when they get rolled over by the waves, so it takes time to find them. Shallow coins are dimes. They are smaller and disappear quickly, revealing themselves only sporadically. Deep coins are dollars, but are too hard to find easily. But they are there. Wow, that's two butts in one sentence. That makes an ass. The sharks know where the dollars are 
and troll those waters waiting for some distracted millionaire wannabe to wander into their jaws. So therefore, the perspective. Pennies, nickels, and dimes are easier and safer to find. Every once in a while you will find a quarter, and if you're quick enough you may find a dollar or two. The technology available to us today eases the strain of kneeling to pick up the coins, and that's a good thing because my knees are done. In fact, we could automate the entire process and have our minion computer do all the kneeling for us, repeatedly, consistently, and forever. The larger the coin, the less likely it will be left behind. So, pick up the pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters. The dollars have a string attached which will pull you into the depths of Jaws. While writing this epistle, I have uh, become a millionaire webinar going on in the background. I'm shaking my head at the obvious sell. How can anybody be so stupid as to give this guy any money? Well, the proof of stupidity is right there in front of me. If nobody bought his pitch, he wouldn't do it, would he? So it must work, or he wouldn't do it, right? Now granted, it is a very polished presentation. He has gone so far as to hire an obviously professional interviewer to ask the questions provided on the obvious sheet of paper in his hand. There are lots of out-of-work professional interviewers these days. Basically, they're a dime a dozen or a fiver. In fact, the initial hook was good enough that it got me, so even I am susceptible. The psychology is excellent playing to greed. The call to action is enthralling, get rich now. The step-by-step -step progression of the sales pitch is compelling, building momentum to the ask for money. And there it is. Limited time offer, today only, just for you, but wait, there's more! And basically, it's a blank piece of space filled with hot air, and you feel you have to have it. When I was selling, we would be ecstatic with a 10% close rate. That's one sale out of 10. That would give me enough commission to live for another day. This is the internet age. What's 10% of the 10,000 viewers this guy has today? How many days can this recording go on for? How many months? How many years? If this guy is closing just 1%, he's making more money selling than he will ever make trading. This is a simplified example of what happens all across the market. The brokers do it too. So do the educators. So do the black box peddlers. So do the banks. So do the investment firms. And so do the big boys. Beware. The sharks are pervasive in the deep waters. And when they get desperate, they wander into the shadows. So just don't go there. When you feel the slime on the surface, know that it is hiding a shark underneath. Now, by this point, and kudos to you for getting this far, and thank you for your kind attention, if you're still with me, you must be asking a very valid question. What is this guy trying to sell to me? This is a valid question as everybody is selling something. I am selling perspective. How much does perspective cost? It costs patience. How much is patience? Priceless. For now, consider how many times would you kneel to be economically self-sufficient? Mm -hmm.